Welcome back. I'm sitting down with Grammy and Oscar winning musician, actor, and author Common. Hi. How are you doing, Sylvia? Good. How are you? Great, great. Good. So your new book, Let Love Have the Last Word, is the second book you've written. Yeah. How is it different from um, One Day It All Makes Sense? I think, you know, this book was motivated by um, the journey of my life where I am right now and experiences I've had. Not from, not like, it's not a like chronological story. Um, it's more like written from anecdotes and um, stories that have led me to know what love is in a better way or to know where I failed in love. It really, I think the seed of it really came from me looking at these times and being like, man, what can I do and what can we do to, to make people feel better? Yeah. You know, like in, in times that feel so heavy, mm -hmm. that feel so divisive, what is the, the, the thing that can overcome that? And I felt, feel that the practice of love is yeah. tough, you know? And one very timely issue that everybody's speaking up about today that you address in your book is you opened up about being molested as a child. Yes. Um, is that why you chose to open up about it in the book? Because of like the moment and the, or was there a different reason you chose to write about it? Well, yeah, I, I chose to write about it first and foremost because I, I, I see it as part of my healing. Right. You know, um, and it's therapeutic for me. But one thing I found through music, through writing books um, and just opening up as a human being, you can help heal others when you tell yeah. your story. Mm -hmm. you, you create a space where people feel like they can talk about it. And me being an artist that's out there, you know, doing things and, you know, showing people, look, I want to be positive. I also feel like it's important to show the, the not the flaws, but the hurt, the fear, yeah. and, the, and the way that I'm working through it, you know, because entertainers we have a tendency to show you all the good times mm -hmm. and i think it's, it's great for everybody to see yo well we we all go through these things right yeah and i, and I want young people to feel like man I'm, i've experienced some of these things or some type of trauma and i can talk about it especially as, as a black man like yeah we don't like i've had certain men reach out to me and be like man thank you for saying that right. i've experienced this or and I, I mean you know and it's important to me because that there's no other reason to do it at that point if, if you can't really, if it can't be part of the healing. No, for sure. I mean, definitely what stood out to me, especially about, I mean, being vulnerable is always powerful, like you mentioned. Yeah. But, you know, you being a black man and a hip hop artist, I feel like those are two it, like places in which this conversation does not happen yeah. from the male perspective. Yeah. And I think there's definitely power in sharing it, you know, for and giving that type of representation. To yeah. It. I mean, and, and it does, you know. Initially, you're walking around in these conversations going on. You're like, wait, I really talked about this. And, yeah. and then, you know, it's like, OK, like I and, and I have to talk about this. Yeah. And, but the the support that I've gotten, I mean, different people have reached out to me and been like, man, anything you need, I'm here. It just shows me how good human beings we are, you yeah. know, like as a, as a society. You know, I feel like the way people have reached out to me, it, you know, I just feel like, man, that's that's what that's the nature that I want us to bring forth. You know, like this book is for for me to bring forth my best person mm -hmm. and and work on that. Know that that's a daily practice. And I and I, I'm seeing that come out of people like every day. Yeah. And does the reaction make you feel like you know, we're getting better as a society or even like just even the music industry and how they've had a hard time with me to being able to permeate it. Like, do you feel like those things are getting better and do you feel like things can change in that sense? Yes, I feel yeah. like, you know, the long history of things that have been wrong when it comes to sexism and racism, it's like we we trying we doing our best to unlearn it, to right. like to remove it. But it's been a long history, so it takes time. But the fact that we've st been discussing it, we're trying to figure out ways. It's not going to just happen overnight because it's been hundreds of years, thousands of years when it comes to like sexism, to be honest. Yeah. And, and then the racism that existed in America since the beginning of America. Like, mm -hmm. so these are things that we, we, we're figuring out, like, and we, we using tools and having those conversations. But the fact that people are speaking up about it and saying things and, and trying to figure out ways is, is a testament to our humanity as, as a society. And I think that things are getting better. Yeah.
So one thing that I admire about the way you carry yourself, but like even when you were, the way you're transparent in your books and, you know, mm -hmm. in your music, but somehow still manage to keep your private life somewhat pri more private than most celebrities. Like yeah, yeah. there's a balance there, right? How do you manage that? Especially like say maybe in your love life, like right. how do you balance like yeah. being transparent and, but like, you know, keeping it private. You know, what I've learned as far as having relationships, um, especially, you know, being an artist and out there, you, you know, you want to have a security in that relationship before you start sharing it publicly. Mm -hmm. Because once you share it publicly, it's like, okay, you, you subject it to other things, you outside know, forces. outside forces. So you want to build that strong foundation, is, right. you know, and, and I, I'm a believer in like, man, you keep family business is family business. And the things that I, the things that I do share that I'm, that's really personal to me, it's with purpose. Like I'm telling my story for, for, um, for healing, for, for the healing of others. Like me sharing my relationship story is not going to, you know, it's not yeah. going to benefit anybody, you know? So it's like, I don't exploit, this is not exploitation. Right. I'm not here to be exploited, you mm -hmm. know? Like these stories are because I care for, for myself and for people. Um, so that's, that's how I approach it. Yeah. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid to acknowledge a woman that I'm with, but right. yeah. Which was the hardest of your relationships to keep private? I'm um, probably dating Serena was hard to keep private because she's such a, a big, um, figure, international yeah. figure. Um, and you know, Serena at that time was everywhere doing yeah. things. I mean, she's everywhere now, but it was like, she was on the move doing a lot of things and we both were younger and like, yeah. we weren't even trying to keep it private at that point, <laughs> you know, so, but, but that's why I say you learn from certain things and not that I, you know, at a, at a certain point it's not, you're not going to be able to keep it private. But right. I think when you first initially build in a relationship, it's important that you, you create a certain foundation, mm -hmm. you know, even, I think that for everyday, you know, people that's not a celebrity or not on a public platform, you know, I think, you know, you want to build a strong foundation with, within the two. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes, you know, f friends, people start making yeah. their comments and you like... No, it's real. I'm not, listen, I'm popping up on Instagram with a ring. They're yeah. like, well, I didn't even know you were in a relationship yeah. because it's yeah. just too much. Yeah. It's too I much. Because ultimately, you got to, <laughs> the person you with you know, you need to feel strong about them. And, and, and point blank, we all get influenced by if, if mom make a comment about this person, or, you know, <laughs> your, your close friends. Somebody finds in your DM, yeah, like, yeah. oh, wait, you know her too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they can, that can affect, you know, your thoughts. So I'd rather keep it as pure as possible and then, you know, yeah. move forward from there. Well, um, moving on to a, another woman in your life, your daughter, who you yeah. also you write about your relationship with her in the book. Yeah. Um, I think you that's another place where you've really done a good job as far as like keeping her out of the spotlight yeah. for like a lot of celebrity kids are very much in it. But like, she, you know, is that some now that she's like off into college? Are you concerned about being able to maintain that same level of like her having her life separate from yours? Well, I think, you know, we did a good job. I have to you know, give credit too to her mother who was also a strong, she played a strong, uh, had a strong presence in making sure that the Amoye like wasn't like caught up in the spotlight, didn't even like ha have that desire. Like we, we tried to let her values be something that was more or less w within herself. Like mm -hmm. let her be like feel good about herself, not because, you know, her dad is this, you know, artist or, Anybody else, we want her value to be within herself, and I think that's what it is. She could be proud of me, but she's not like trying to draw off me. She's not trying to do everything besides get. She want her tickets to the show. Right. You know, like, she <laughs> you gonna know. get that. That's regular stuff, you know. <laughs> right. you know but 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 that being said, I think it was you know important to, to to just let her find what she wanted to be and who she wanted to be, and and you know in certain ways is not going. She's not going to be shielded from from like what the industry and, and what the things, the benefits that I get and some of the negative, cause she's been on, on the campus and people have been like, oh, that's Common's doing And she's took some heat too. So I feel for her in that way. But you know, with some, with some of the bad comes the good too. Right. She also has some great benefits. So, um, you know, we appreciate that. And I just think she's a, a very smart, intelligent 
wise young lady. So she's living her life. Congra um, she's graduating from college tomorrow. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations to her yeah, yeah, um, and to you, the parents. Thank I've you. Been... Congrats to her. <laughs> she did a lot of hard work, you know, so congrats. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, thank you so much for joining us, Common. Yeah, I really enjoyed you. talking to you about this in your book. Um, you can get Let Love Have the Last Word. It's available wherever books are sold. Up next, Saeed is talking to Tyra Banks. Stay tuned.